Hi, I'm Joe with Family Handyman. Today I'm going to paint a room. I'm going to show you how I like to do my process. Hopefully that'll help you the next time you paint a room. Let's get started. First thing you want to do before you even pick up a paintbrush is choosing a color. Head to your home center or paint store, have them mix you a couple of samples, bring it home, put it on different parts of the walls, see what you think. Now I've got a couple of colors on the wall. We're going to pick this teal color. Another thing to think about is the type of finish you want to use. We're going to use a matte finish on the wall because this is an adult bedroom and it's a low traffic area. First thing I want to do though is remove the furniture. You can also cover it with a tarp. Next, tape down craft paper or rosin paper on the floor and carpet along the baseboard to protect them from paint splatters and spills. Spread a drop cloth on the floor over any furniture in the room you're painting. Fabric drop cloths work better for this. They're less slippery than plastic drop cloths. Before I even paint, the next step is to wash the walls with TSP. This will remove any dirt and grime and grease, enabling your paint to stick better. Shine a light on the wall to see any blemishes or defects on your wall. Now I'm going to fill all the holes and blemishes on the wall. I've got some repairs to do. I'm going to use just this easy spackle. If you've got a larger area you need to repair, this easy sand works well. The number refers to its working time, so that you've got five minutes before it starts to harden. I'm going to fill all the holes and cracks with spackle. Sand them with a sanding block, and then put a coat of primer on them. I'm going to remove all the outlet plates and switch plates. At this point in the project, I would paint the ceiling, but we're not painting the ceiling in this project today, so the next step is to paint the trim. When it comes to trim, there's a debate whether to paint the trim first or the wall first. I like to paint the trim first. If the trim has a nice wide top edge on it, I can get a piece of tape on there. I'll paint the trim first and then the wall. In this instance where you have a piece of trim that the top edge is too narrow, you can't get a piece of tape on, then I would paint the wall first, tape it off, and then paint the trim. Today, we're not painting trim, we're just going to paint walls. Now it's time to cut in. I like to use a small container with paint in it. It's more manageable. A nice angled brush works well. Maybe like a two and a half inch works well for cutting in. It's always good just to cut in and then roll off one wall at a time. That way the, the, the two paints can blend together. I'm not gonna tape off the ceiling, but you can tape the ceiling off. I'm gonna cut it in by hand using this angled brush. Let me show you how. The technique for cutting in is you want to load up the brush, not with too much paint, just a little bit, and use the angle, the angle part of the brush and push the paint. Once you get practiced at this, you'll find it really easy to cut in the ceiling. Load the roller with paint from the paint tray and roll paint on the wall from the baseboard to the ceiling. Roll straight back down without reloading the roller to ensure the wall is covered. And you continue the process of cutting in and rolling until you finish the room. There you have it, all finished, looks really good. If you follow these steps, you'll get a nice professional look like this. If there's something you have a question about, we got plenty more videos on painting. Visit us at familyhandyman.com. See you next time.